Hey guys, Nessa here, and today I'm going to do a Lego versus Block Tech. Um, I found this uh, little set for $3 at um, Target. Um, it's great white shark, apparently. Um, it comes with one shark, one figure, one instructions. Those are the contents. Uh, apparently it has 69 pieces. And this is Wildlife Animal Research. And it comes with Derek, the shark researcher. I'm like, whatever. But it says it's compatible with leading brands. Um, it's got some nice, like, it's got a nice real picture there. That's kind of cool. And like an eye and a magnifying glass. Um, and there's the researcher. Uh, and there's the shark. Um, I'm going to build along with this with Lego, but I had a slight, I had a slight problem. Um, researching the instructions and whatnot and I have to build it slightly different or with a couple of different pieces because either I did not have the right color or just those pieces I didn't have at all so okay so this is how it comes nice box and, you know it's cool I mean, it's three dollars whatever um so it comes in a poly bag and this just has a little blue thing behind the researcher. So that's not in the container. It looks really tall and awkward. Like, I don't know. The helmet's kind of cool, though. Alright, Derek. Okay, you can't lift the mask up at all. It's just stuck in there. Um, okay, can his head not come out at all? There he is. Whoa! Um, okay, that's kind of creepy. He's got no brains. That is truly scary. Um, okay, we need to put that back on, because you done lost the top of your head. And his arms turn at the elbow. That's interesting. And he sits down. Wow. Okay, so that's, that's definitely interesting. Oh, he's got a little anchor on his shirt, printed on his shirt. Oh, that's okay. I ain't, for a little minifig, that's not bad. So, we also have the bag of parts. And whatnot. And the instructions. So, as I said before, I have to do mine a little bit separate than... Let me scoot over a little bit. Um do my building a little bit separate than this one. But let's get the pieces out. And they definitely sound different. Like, they have a different feel to them, too. They don't, I don't know, they're just not the same. I don't have, I mean, I do have these blue pieces, but I went for dark gray instead of the blue. And for these blue pieces, I only had white, so... Um, I did not have these, but it's okay, because I'm going to improvise later, and I'll show you how. Yeah. So, let's just move that over, and I just knocked over Derek. Let him sit, and I'm going to use this one for my little researcher. This came from the season or Series 20 minifigs. It's the one with the sea turtle, so I'm just going to use her as my researcher. So, yeah. Sit up. There we go. Alright, let's take a look. Let's get rid of that bag. And, okay. So, here's the parts list. Now, it looks like everything is white or gray or whatever, but it's actually only these two, these two pieces, those pieces, that one, that one, and that one that are white. All the rest of these that look white are actually gray. Yeah. So, let's see. Uh -huh. And it has the instructions in a complete form. And that's kind of cool. It gives you, like, great white shark fact sheet. That's pretty cool. The pictures are neat. Telling you what each animal are. Harbor seal... Bonehead shark, giant squid, African penguin, clownfish, 
Pablo Cord tuna, and of course the great white. But yeah, if you want, I'm gonna just show you guys this. If you want to read it, you guys can pause and read it. That's pretty cool. So I say we get to building, and like I said, I'm gonna build this in. Um, ah, oh, I put my glasses on top over here. Keep this paper from flying away from the air conditioner. I'm gonna have to build it slightly separate with my pieces. So yeah. Uh, okay, it says we need a two by six and a one by two, and I need I have that also. But I'm gonna have to build mine backwards because the piece I have, this little piece, just won't fit. So I'm gonna have to build mine backwards. Uh, let's see. And next we have these two. Uh, two of these. And this piece. Okay, and I think I just moved... I moved that out of my way. I did not mean to. Okay. So, we'll build this one first. It shows these two pieces here. Then these ones. And then this. See, this one is a 2x3 on the bottom. Um, I have... A piece but it's not exact oh wow that's kind of hard to put together um, and I have the, other, the pieces I need but because mine's shaped different it's not really I mean it's off by one here and it's off by one on the bottom because there's supposed to be three but it's only four so that little piece is gonna move um, and because this one also has this here at one more angle I'm gonna just add one for myself so there, now it's now it's close to being the same on the inside as well. So that's going to go down here. And besides, these two little pieces will hold this together anyway. Because I had to do mine backwards. Oh, wait. I meant to move that over more. There we go. Okay, so so far, this is the block tech and this is the Lego. There's definitely a different different color and shading and shape piece of course like I said I have to use a little bit different shape than my than theirs because either Lego doesn't make it in that weird shape or whatever or I just don't have the right color so like I said I'm gonna improvise on mine a little bit but it should still be the same thing so let's see now we need, let's get all the parts for the next bit. It's not easy finding these pieces. I mean it is, but I don't know. On the box this is white. But in the packaging, it's gray. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we get there. I'm not going to be too worried about it. That is weird. Okay. So, we got those pieces, and now I got mine. So, let's build theirs first. Uh, I'm going to put the two... These ones in first. And that. And then they have that gets a piece, that gets a piece, and that gets a piece. So, on the Lego one, we're pretty much going to be able to do the same thing. And since we already integrated that one piece in there, that one just goes right on top. So, they still look very very similar which is great um okay uh, let's find this next piece and then this one and this okay because I did not have two of these I'm going to use this instead so, but I will show you. Let me build this one first, or how they do it. They have this, 
with that. Oops. That that one by two. And then they put a block in the side to flatten it all out. Well, unfortunately, I only have, like I said, one of those white ones. So on the bottom half, I'm going to use two of these instead because they are really the same size. They, they're the same exact shape. It's just I don't need the block in the middle now because I have that. So it looks very similar. So it doesn't, I figured it didn't really matter. So now we need another one. And now this. Okay. So now it's showing. Whoa. Hold on, I lost a piece. There it is. So now it's showing that with that. And then the 2x4 in the middle. And so I will put my 2x2 two two up here. The piece that we needed before there and a two by four there so again we're looking very similar that's cool here's where it's going to be a little bit different um i do not have these in black um but i do have one set in gray and i'm going to use a clip set in gray but i also want to show you a trick too but i'm going to show you two in a second so let me put these on these are uh, friction clips or f yeah the friction the friction hinges cuz they they like click and then they hold their space unlike the clips with bars now i only have one friction clip in the in the shape that they want it in um but i only have it in gray right now so i'm going to put that there and i only have I'm going to use a clip instead, but believe it or not, if you have clips and then the open-ended friction um, pieces, they actually do fit in there, and you can use them. Um, they're not, it's not like perfect, but it does stay, it just, it's very weak. But if you needed to for an emergency, for whatever reason, like you just needed it to work, it, it can work. But I do have a proper bar, so... It'll fit better and stay on snug. And either using the, the friction clip or the clip with the bar is fine. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Okay. And I need... Uh, yeah, no, I needed that. And one of these. Okay, it's like trying to get that stuff out the way. Okay. So now we are going to build this up. Oops, sorry. Do not mean to get off camera. And then now we have the fins. I don't really like it in black like that anyway. I'd prefer it in the gray. I think it matches better, but they want black here, and I would have found gray if I thought it would do any good, but it is what it is, 2 by 4 one by 2 with bars, and uh, I don't know what is up with the lighting, I thought changing my space around would help, but I guess not. So see, this one's more flexible, where this one just doesn't want to bend unless I make it. Okay, and again, still looks familiar, even though the friction clip is black over here and this one's gray, it still looks just as nice. Um, so yeah, I'm not worried about it. Okay, here is where I'm going to change things up, because I don't have the proper pieces, and you'll see what I mean. They have these pieces, which I really wish LEGO would make these. Um, in the 1x2s and the 2x2s. Two um, these are awesome pieces. I really wish LEGO would make them. Um, so, yeah, so for this one, we're going to do that. And it uses opposite fins to do this so that 
you can see studs on either side. Well, I can't do that because I don't have those special pieces. I only have these kind. So I'm going to take the fins that are on the same side and I'm just going to do it my way. I'm just going to do it like this. So one side's going to be flat or the back of the brick and the other side is going to have the stud. So either way, what I'm doing is still going to work. It just doesn't look just like this because I don't have this double sided, you know, one by two. So yeah, but it'll still work. Um, and then it's requesting that we do that again or add to it. So let's do this, add the clip, add the other one by two. Whoa. Should have added the one by two first. <laughs> that clip went flying. And then that to help hold the clip in place. So it looks like that. So now we do the same thing for this, but like I said, because I don't have the whatever, the fins are going the same direction. But either way, it still looks nice. So I'm not too worried about it. And then it says to attach it to the top so that way that'll stop it. So yeah. Okay, so so far still looks very similar. I'm still not worried about it. <laughs> okay, now here they have blue. Um, but I'm going to use white. Or I'm going to use dark gray, I mean. And I don't need this extra piece because their pieces have these gaps in them later and mine don't have the gaps. So yeah, I don't need this piece like they do. So yeah, you'll see it as we go. So we'll put both of these here. And then that goes there. That goes there. Oh, look at that. There's, there's a number on that piece. Uh -huh. That's funny. And this piece goes here. And like I said, I don't need that piece because I don't have the gap in my pieces. And I'm going to just use dark gray instead of blue. Still looks cool. Focus. There we go. Now, like I said, they have the blue... I do not. I have white and I don't have, they have two different blue ones, two different shapes actually. There's these two and these ones. So they're two different lengths with a, um, what is it, a, a two stud difference. So instead of me using those, I have two sets of white because I don't have these this shape in blue at all. So I'm using two white, and to make up for the difference on one of them, I'm using two of these to make up for the size difference. Yeah. So let's put these on, and because these have that gap, well this one doesn't have the gap, but the other one does. The bigger ones have that gap. So it needs that extra brick, or that plate I mean, to stay on where these ones don't. So and like I said because mine are smaller or shorter I should say I'm using these to make up the difference. And because I said I don't have blue I'm using white so it still looks really cool. I like it. I think it looks okay. As I said, I'm not going to be worried about it. And then these pieces are what we have left. So for the fin, it says these are gray, but in the picture they're white. So, <coughs> excuse me. So there's that fin. And like I said, I don't have, I did not have them in blue. And the picture shows white, so I just grabbed white. 
and I did it in white. I didn't think it would matter. So there's that. And now it's asking for this piece again, and then one of these, and then two of these. Oh, dude, those are hard to get on and straighten out, and two of those. I don't have this piece, so I'm actually going to use this piece. And instead of having that extra gray plate, I'm going to just flip these a different direction so that I kind of get the same shape. Focus. So instead of this shape, I have that shape. So it still slants downward. It still slants downward. It's just going to be at a slightly different angle. But it still kind of accomplishes the same thing. So like this goes in the front of this shark right there and then mine goes in the front of my shark. So it still mimics the same like sloping down part. Yeah. So yeah, that's the end of that. Um of building, I mean. Yeah. So here's the shark from Block Tech. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need some water. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. Fin moves a little bit. That kind of stops it from going too far, and then the top of the body stops it from going too far. And then this is the Lego one. But see, I don't, that doesn't really bother me, though. It would look cool if we could do that, but it's okay. I'm fine with it. So, yeah. Here's how they look from this side. And then here's how they look from the front. Here's the other side. Here's the back. And here's underneath. Yeah, they still... They look so similar. I mean, other than this weird shape, because like I said, I don't have that shape. I have to use that one. I mean, and I had to switch out a couple of their colors. I mean, I think it's actually a pretty cool build, considering what it is. I mean, I got the instructions for $3, so... Yeah. I don't know what the heck is going on with my lighting. Hopefully it won't readjust now. I don't know I don't know why it's doing that. I'm sorry. I haven't figured that out. But yeah, so um if I had to choose, I would still always choose Lego. I prefer Lego over other companies. Um other than that one really cool piece I really wish Lego would make. Um I, I really prefer Lego. It, it's a better quality. Believe it or not, this one, the Lego one feels a little bit heavier. Um, it, it just, the pieces, they just, they feel different. Like, you can just feel it. Like, yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, the, the, the other ones, the other companies are okay. Um, a lot of these cheaper ones for like a dollar, a couple dollars, whatever. Um, they're good for, I guess, little kids if you wanted to wanted to buy some for somebody. Um, because if they lose the parts, then you're not too worried about it because it's a cheaper brand and it's not so expensive. Where, you know, if you lose a Lego one, you kind of, you're like, no. But I do like Lego because if you do lose parts, you can order them. You lose something from this, you can't really call them and ask them for parts. You you just you just can't. You lose it, you lose it, it's gone. Unless you buy another set. So yeah. But for three dollars I got the instructions. It looks pretty decent. I like them. I think they're pretty cool. Um yeah. Well, I hope you guys uh enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys in future videos. So have a good day. Keep on bricking and bye.